Hi guys, we are back with our Kickstarter review show. It's been a little while, but we've been uh, really wanting to do more of these. So uh, next weekend we're going to ToyCon, a toy convention in London. And so we decided that this week we would reboot the show with the best toys on Kickstarter this week. Yes, so we're back, which is very exciting, and we have three awesome toy-related Kickstarter projects for you. Uh, we have a plushie, we have a kids cosplay, and we also have a really awesome collab collectible project. So first up is Nate's pick. My favourite toy-themed Kickstarter this week is called Snaps. Uh, now what it actually is, is it's kind of sci-fi uh, cosplay costumes for kids. And what it uh, kind of does, unlike other kids' costumes, it, it, it presents a kind of kit that the kid can put together themselves and make a cool sci-fi costume play costume. Now this is a really cool idea. This is basically two dads who've incorporated and started a company based around their experience with their own kids, where they saw the kids really enjoyed playing with costumes after Halloween and after Christmas. But those costumes tend not to be very good quality, they're not very durable, um, and there's nothing really that original about them. And these guys have basically created an entire brand around, or an entire story world rather, around these costumes where the kids can build and assemble sci-fi armor that looks a lot like uh, Halo or, or like Stormtrooper armor from Star Wars. And I, I'm guessing it's really gonna to appeal to a lot of kids. On top of all that, these guys recognize that kids really like to get into the world around the toys that they're, that they're playing with. So what they've done is they've actually created a backstory for the armor and uh, they're presenting it through the Kickstarter campaign in a, the form of a comic book, which is called Earth Omega. And it comes, I think every reward tier includes a copy of the comic. And that's just a really nice uh, thing, both for the kids, uh, you know, ending up playing with the product, but also for anyone backing the project, uh, it's an additional little bonus that you get amongst the rewards. The rewards tiers are really cool for this project. And it starts at something like $20 for the helmet, all the way up to, or, or no, I think it's only $80 and you already get the full costume. So that's pretty good value. Um, and it, you're not looking at investing a huge amount before you've got this whole really cool kids cosplay set. You should definitely go over to Kickstarter and check this one out. Uh, if you're interested in toy design or if you just got kids that really like uh, costumes or really into Star Wars, Halo video games, anything like that, they're bound to find this uh, really cool. They're at a pretty good stage. They're, they're a few days into the campaign now. They're about 14% funded. So they've made just over 8,000 pounds, I think, out of their 60,000 target. But there's 16 days left to go, which means there's still lots of opportunity to get involved, back them, and maybe get uh, your own suit of awesome kitty armor. And my pick is Eggwala, which is a really adorable egg-shaped koala plushie uh, made by Jackie Jolly, aka Dolphin Wing. Uh, she's a pretty awesome chick. She makes uh, custom handmade plushies, all sorts like My Little Pony inspired ones and Pokemon ones. Um, they're all really amazing. She's launching this Kickstarter um, to basically kind of produce a line of mass-produced plushies um, to sort of bring the price point down because custom plushies can be pretty expensive and you know as someone who loves what she does she wants everyone to be able to have some of her plushies which I think is a really lovely sentiment. Um, it's a really cute toy anyway and she's really really good at what she does um, and she's put a lot of work into the design. She's also partnered with uh, Spoonie Liger to produce some animated shorts based around the Aguala character so check those out in the links below. In terms of rewards, you only need to pledge $25 to get your own plushie, which I think is a pretty decent price point. Um, but even below that, they've put a lot of thought into it. They've made custom pins and like little phone straps and stickers you can get depending on how much you pledge. And I think the top tier goes all the way to an actual custom made plushie that you design and she'll make. So it's pretty awesome. No matter what you pledge, you get something pretty great. So there are eight days left on this project and she has 62% funded, so she's in the final stretch. Uh, so if you want to get involved, now's the time to do it. Back it, get your own Iguala and enjoy the plushy goodness. Our favourite Kickstarter project this week, toy-themed Kickstarter project, is the Turtley Race, which is a blind box uh, art figure collaboration project, which is really cool, by Quail Studio. Yeah, it looks like an awesome project. Uh, it caught my eye also because they're based in Yokohama in Japan, which is where my family's from, which is very cool. Um, and it's from the looks of it, this is all started out from a collaboration the creator did a while back, and he loved the idea of it, so he contacted a bunch of toy makers from all over the world uh, to basically collab on designs for these toys. 
So all of the guys collaborating on this are from different countries all over the world and the designs are an amalgamation of their toys and the creator Quell Studios toys, which is very, very cool. This is a really cool set of figures because each of the collaborators has contributed an idea and a design for a character and then Quell Studio has taken that design and translated it into their own style. So the, mm -hmm. there's the, a rider on the back of a turtle for each figure and there's a whole different range of the riders in it. Even though they all look like a set, they've each got their own character and it quite obviously comes from, from different influences. It almost look, it reminds me of uh, kind of like the Mario Kart lineup. Yeah, you know, there's, yeah. there's, uh, every character is different, but they're obviously from the same world. And it's, it's just a really nice set. There's something there that I really like. Uh, it's got that kind of uh, chibi style to it, which is, is really cool. It's really nice, really nice figures. We're giving this one a shout out quite early on. Um, part of the cool reason for that is that Tado is uh, one of the contributors to this and they're actually going to be at ToyCon next week which is very very cool uh, so they have 23 days to go um, and the rewards basically range from one of the figures to all of the figures um, and you can choose whether to do it blind box or pick the the actual toy you want which is quite a nice pack and that's only kickstarter backers is yeah. that right Who, only kickstarter backers get to pick which one they get uh, and obviously later on if they're available it'll only be available blind box and some of the designs are really nice so i like the fact that you've got the option to choose I know, I know, well, I already know which one I'm going to get, so... <laughs> I want them all! <laughs> so that's it for this week. All those projects are really awesome, so go back them if you want to, or the links are below. And uh, as we said, we're going to be at ToyCon next weekend, and uh, if any of you are watching this and you're going to be at ToyCon, you'll be able to find us because we're going to be running around with cameras <laughs> filming it. So uh, come along, say hi to us. If you want to get involved in the video, let us know, and it would be great to see you. Absolutely, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and if you know of any awesome Kickstarter projects or you're running your own, let us know, we'd love to hear from you. And I think that's it for now. <laughs>